Hi guys, Ryan here from Elite Almost Diagnostics. Uh, today we had in a fairly interesting job, so I thought we'd video it. It's a Mini 1. Um, the customer's complaint is that the lights stop working properly, the indicators don't work, the windows don't work, and the blower motor stops working. Uh, we verified the complaint. Uh, it took us two to three hours to actually get the complaint to actually happen. Um, we did then realize that every single time you connected um, to the control module, uh, the footwell control module, it would fault. Um, so a bit odd in that every time obviously you connect to the control unit, it faults. So what I'm going to do is quickly show you guys what I mean. So currently, as you can see, um, let's come back out of there. And you can just hear it just faulted. Then every time we connect to the GM base control module, the vehicle fan, as you can just hear it stop, and the lights do not work. No indicators and the windows do not work. So a bit of a strange one. Um, so we read the fault codes in all the control modules. There was only one fault code that was in there. This is in the body control module, uh, which is a K bus fault code. Um, on this vehicle, it has a K bus, which is basically a single wire. I'll just turn our fan down for you guys a minute. That's better, so we can hear. Uh, is a single wire um, communication bus that obviously all the control units speak on. It also has a CAM bus on this vehicle as well. Um, but for this obviously process, we're looking at the K bus. Um, so what we have found again, as you can see here, I'll turn our fan back up. And we'll go back out of there. So when I click OK to communicate with this module, you're going to hear the fan stop and I will not be able to move the lights and they will stop working. So OK, there you go, the fan stopped working. The lights do not work. Again, indicator is not working. Nothing is working. So we've back probed the uh, instrument panel on this vehicle. Specifically, this um, vehicle has the gateway um, built into this module. So it, uh, the, the, key, the scan tool itself communicates to this module and then this module will then send us the information on the network. So it seems feasible that we could possibly have an issue with this module um, causing shorts or um, not actually sending the data. Just turn the fan down. So as you can see, we're probed into this wire here, this red, uh, white, and yellow wire. And we're also probed into this uh, gray with white wire. Um, the gray with white, which is on channel A, the blue channel, is the connector, um, DLC connector up to here. So it's coming from the DLC connector into this connector here. And then as you can see, this wire here, which is the K bus um, is joined into this. I joined these two together. Um, we obviously cut the wire to verify that we didn't have any issues with the actual K bus itself to eliminate all of that. Um, so we will be measuring the K bus and measuring the DLC, and then you'll see what the issue is. So I'll quickly just show you guys on the laptop the diagram. Your battery's running low. Lovely. Okay, so this one here is a DLC. This one goes up here, along here, then up here, and then is this grey with white. Uh, sorry. Grey with white, as we said earlier, pin number four. And then we have right next to it, pin number five, which was the white, red, and yellow, which follows over here down to the multifunction control module, which is the van network wire. So we pulled up the oscilloscope. Um, we'll play the scope. As you can see, channel B, which is the red channel, is our K bus signal. As I said earlier, it's approximately battery voltage on this one. Um, so if we pause it, I'll try to. Stopped, lovely, and then we go back. And then I'll quickly just show you guys. If I can find the data packet. There we go. 
So voltage wise on this one we are looking uh, 11.54 volts down to around about 900, uh, so 0.9 of a volt. Uh, and it looks like a fairly clean signal, it's consistent, um, no dropouts, uh, it's not shorted to battery positive or battery negative obviously. Um, so what I'm going to do and what I'm going to show you is that the problem with this vehicle is that uh, the gateway itself, instead of taking the data from one network and passing it onto the other network, it's actually shorting the two networks together, which is why we have our problem. So when we communicate with the vehicle, it's sending the data directly from this blue um, feed, uh, this blue channel, which is channel, uh, sorry, channel A, which is our scan tool. Uh, it's sending that directly through it, the gateway, which is the instrument panel, to this channel, channel B, rather than processing it and then displaying that data on this channel. Okay, so what we'll do is I'll quickly show you what I mean. So ignition is currently on. Um, so all being well, I'll turn the fan back on so you can hear it. So the fan's back on. And then what we're gonna do, so we can get this in a shot. Using the scan tool, we're gonna communicate with the GM module. We're gonna try and read the fault code. If you watch the blue channel, you'll see that the two short together. And there you go. And now everything starts working. And then we're back again. So every time we communicate with the scan tool to this um, K bus or the GM module, which is on the K bus, uh, it shorts the two networks together, hence what's causing his issue. So he actually has an internal fault in this control module. Um, I found also by tapping it, you can get the uh, signal like we had earlier to appear on the screen indicating he has a internal fault. Uh, so yeah, guys, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I wanted to show you that one. Uh, and there you go, the, the fan's back on and uh, we'll start working again now. Another thing I also noticed was that uh, when it when the network has died um, or when the fault occurs, there is no data being transferred. So what I mean by that is, at the moment, if I turn the lights off and on, off and on, and we monitor the LIN bus, uh, sorry, the K bus, you can see the frequency of the signal increases. But when the fault occurs, there is no signal being produced. So I'll show you what I mean. So we're going to try to re-communicate again with the GM module. Now that's me turning the switch, as we just was doing a second ago. And as you can see, there's no data being sent out. Um, well, the frequency of the data is a lot less. Uh, what I think is going on here is the control units um, that are actually on this K bus are sending out their um, scream for help, so to speak, uh, asking where and what's actually gone on um, at the moment until the gen uh, sorry until the uh, gateway is happy. Obviously, it's not going to send back a yeah a okay. Let's start working again. And there you go. So there you can just see it coming back saying a okay. Let's start working again during this period here. So during this point here. Uh, it sort of said, yep, yeah, happy, go again. We can all work now until we have another problem. That's it, guys. Pretty cool one. Uh, I was quite surprised to find that. Um, I thought it was going to be uh, be a bit more of a nightmare than what it was, but it wasn't wasn't too bad. Uh, yeah, any questions or queries, guys, just ask, and, uh, and we'll go from there. Cheers, thanks, bye.